I was up in there with my artist, which was Six Shot and Soldier Slim. Wow, that's, and a, it was that's all, heavy right there. And it was all up in there. Free you say Six Shot, Soldier St Slim, uh, uh, Masterpiece, Silk. Man, come on, baby. And who was with baby? Skull Duggar. Come on, man. And this, then, uh, this something serious. <clears throat> That's a, was, that's a serious lineup, man. They were up in there, all of them up in there, freestyling over about it. Are you serious? This was before Baby got his deal. P just got his deal and had his name was out there because of. And they were freestyling on about it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One On One. Yeah, we gonna talk. Let me ask. So you <clears throat> see, you I heard. I heard that you, when Master P met Baby, you was in the midst of that whole thing. <laughs> oh, it happened at your spot? No, or? it happened, the spot that you talking about. Yeah, where you walked through that, through that little trail. Like, yeah, that, it happened in that basement. Wow. How was that? It was, it was. Because, well, they, uh, they wasn't on the level that they on now. Oh, no, no, because they, they, they actually, as a matter of fact, backed about it. P, Baby came in there. With Skull Duggery. Okay. <clears throat> Pete came up in there, I think, was Silk. It wasn't King George. It was Silk, I think, and it was seeing one of his cousins. And um I was up in there with my artist, which was Six Shot and Soldier Slim. Wow, that's, and a, it was that's all, heavy right there. And it was all up in there free. You say six shot, soldier slim, uh uh masterpiece, silk. Man, come on, baby. And who was with baby? Skull Duggar. Come on, man. And that's then, a, this something serious. <clears throat> that's, a, were, that's a serious lineup, man. They were up in there, all of them up in there, freestyling over about it. Are you serious? This was before baby got his deal. P just got his deal and had his name was out there because of. And they were freestyling on body. Yeah, and, 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 and um. Because the ice cream man was Dude, doing this some baby numbers. Dude, been knowing each other. Y'all been knowing each other all y'all life, really. Man, me and baby played sandlock football together, man. <laughs> oh, man. We went to middle school together. Are you? Wow. Hell yeah. That's crazy. And the thing about it, me and Manny DJed in the same club before him and baby knew each other. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I knew both of them before they knew each That's other. That's crazy. I'm loving this show right you here, You know what I'm saying? Because it is... <laughs> Manny was the top DJ downtown. I was the top DJ uptown, and we DJed in a club that you needed. You needed to be seriously searched. Wow, that's crazy! And he had a hell of a run too. He yeah. had a run. Did you, so you enjoy seeing his run when he was doing his oh, thing. Yeah, man, Manny was. That's so crazy, bad. man. Because listen, we used to be before we before our success. We used to share sounds. Really? Hell yeah. That's the day I met. One time I left my drum machine in the studio and Manny went in there. Manny was producing a song for two females from New Orleans that was beefing with okay. each other. Okay. And um, he stole my drum machine up and they were like, boy, motherfucker left an 808 in this bitch. <laughs> like, they were like, uh, who that for? They were like, uh, that for uh, KLC. I'm like, oh man, it's KLC. He said, I was about to steal that bitch. But the trip all the body was, <laughs> <laughs> this, this the funny part. <laughs> The two females was beefing with each other. He produced both of the records, so he was going back telling each other what they were saying about <laughs> each other. Oh, God, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Speaking of mentioning females, so how was it with, did you know that Mia X had something when you first, you know? Hell yeah, I heard Mia before we knew each other. Of As course. Fact, my son, the chef, yeah. mm -hmm. is Mia's godson. Wow, that's hot, that's hot. She was heavy, man. I'm talking about, hey, man, you could not rap. That's another reason I thought the South was winning. Because it's a competition thing with me. You know, I'm like, we winning. And, and that's the way I felt because we had some heat down here. It, it was just serious. So when you met, I, and going back to uh, uh, Down For My Niggas, when you met Snoop Dogg, because you had to meet him with all this music going on. Right, but this this the second album. Correct. Right. When you met him, how was that whole, because he was coming out of a situation. Right. And then now you got to find a new sound with him that he wasn't used to that Southern sound. Mm. Right. Let me tell you something how funny this was. The first time Snoop and I worked together. As a matter of fact, no, I'm, I'm going to take it right when Snoop came. Okay. He called a meeting for everybody to come in there. And his words were, look, I'm just about to let y'all know 
everybody is not going to be on this record. If you're not told to come to the studio, don't. Mm. Wow. Mm-mm. And that's talking to everybody in the camp. That's everybody on the label. I don't give a damn if it was, if it was, if it was uh, the people that clean up. You had you he had a time to that you had was assigned thing. to come there. Because normally, you know, everybody just show, show up, up to the studio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But when it came to this point, now. Uh, yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.